Hello and welcome to another Sonic Wall video tutorial. My name is MG Sriramaya, Senior Tech Support Engineer, Sonic Wall. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a network subnet to an active site to site VPN tunnel. Steps to add a subnet are create an address group and add address objects to it, edit the VPN policies to change the local and destination networks. Bring up the tunnel by pinging a host in the new subnet. This network diagram shows the setup we use for this video tutorial. We have two networks, central side and remote side. On central side, we have an NSA240 with a primary WAN interface IP of 192.168.170.51. It has a LAN network in 192.168.168 subnet with a 24-bit net mask. On site B, we have an NSA220 with a primary WAN interface IP of 192.168.30.22. It has a LAN network in 172.27.24 subnet with a 24-bit net mask. Central site has expanded their network by adding a DMZ subnet in the X2 interface. The DMZ subnet is in the 192.168.2 subnet with a 24-bit net mask. Our objective is to add this subnet to the VPN tunnel. We begin by configuring the central side sonic wall. I'm now logged into the management interface of the sonic wall at central side and have navigated to the address objects page under network. Here, click on add group to open the add address object group window. Enter a name for this group. We call it local networks. Here, from the left, select X0 subnet and for the new subnet, select X2 subnet and click on the right arrow button to add them to the group. Click on OK to create this group. Next, go to the VPN settings page to change the VPN policy. I am now in the VPN settings page. You can see the active site-to-site -site VPN tunnel. Click on the edit button on the far right side of the VPN policy, VPN to remote site, to open the VPN policy window. Click on the network tab. Here, select the address group we just created, local networks. Click on OK to save the changes. Let us configure the remote VPN policy to match the changes made on this VPN policy. I am now logged into the management interface of the remote site sonic wall and I am on the address objects page under network. Here scroll down to the address objects section. You can see here the address object for the X0 subnet of the central site sonic wall. We now create an address object for the X2 subnet of the central site sonic wall. Click on Add to open the Add Address Objects window. Under Name, enter Central Site X2 Subnet. Set Zone as VPN and type as Network. Under Network, enter 192.168.2.0. Under Net Mask, enter a 24-bit net mask. Click on OK to create the object and then click on Close. Now, scroll to the top of this page to create an address group. Click on Add Address Group. We give the name Central Site Network for this group. Add the address objects Central Site X0 Subnet and Central Site X2 Subnet to this group. Click on OK to create this group. Next, go to the VPN Settings page. I am now in the VPN Settings page. Click on the Edit button to open the VPN Policy window. Click on the Network tab. Here, under Destination Networks, select the address group we just created, Central Site Network. Click on OK to save the changes. To bring up the tunnel, we must initiate traffic from this network to the X2 subnet on the other side. We do this by pinging an IP of a host behind the X2 subnet in Central Site. I am in the System Diagnostics page and have selected Ping from Diagnostic Tool. I ping an IP in the X2 subnet of the central site sonic wall, 192.168.2.1. It says it's alive. Now go to the VPN settings page. Here you can see two green LED icons for each destination network. This confirms that a VPN tunnel exists between this sonic wall and the X0 and X2 subnet of the central site sonic wall. This concludes this video on how to add a network subnet to an active site-to-site -site VPN tunnel. Thank you for watching this video.
to learn more about Dell SonicWall security products, visit sonicwall.com. For more video tutorials, visit dellsoftware.com support.